All right, thanks very much, Edwin. Let's, uh, let's turn now and introduce uh, Becca and Gemma, two more uh, players on the uh, Wickham Wanderers ladies. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, as I said uh, earlier, welcome to uh, to Wickham Sound Studios. Thank you, yeah. So uh, let's just start with you, Becca, um, about, uh, again, the same question, um, why you got involved with football. Um, I started playing um, when I was little, sort of like five, six. My dad took me to my first Chelsea game when I was quite young. Um, when I was about six, um, and I just fell in love with it. I played um, with a boys team. Um, they had to change their name because they were called um, Bit and Boys, and they changed their name when I joined. Um, I was the only girl in the whole league for sort of five, six years, um, and I just really enjoyed it. And then when I got to the sort of 16, um, joined a girls team because we couldn't play mixed then. Um, and then I've just been playing ever since. I just literally just love playing football. So it's something that. You know, when you play on a Sunday, you, it doesn't matter anything going on outside in the world. You're just in the game and you're with your mates and it's just such great fun. So She's got a lot of energy, mate. <laughs> <All right. laughs> what, what was it like when you, when you were younger playing on a team with, with all boys? Was that at all awkward being the only girl or did, did it not bother you? Um, at that time, it didn't bother me at all. Um, at that kind of age and back, like sort of 10 years ago, um, ladies football wasn't anywhere near as big as it was now um, there was sort of a few girls teams locally um, that I looked at but they weren't playing regularly because there weren't that many other girls teams to form a big enough league so I was playing sort of with the boys that I went to school with um, and no well, I didn't find it awkward at all but I think it kind of helped me sort of develop myself as a person and as a player because it was quite obviously challenging playing against boys when when you're that age as well yeah, and you mentioned about uh, women's football, uh, and I, I asked this uh, to, to the other ladies as well. But um, do you, how do you feel that women's football has been growing and being uh, being promoted more in the media, getting more fans, and uh, uh, kind, of, kind of how, how do you feel about the, the growth of the sport in, in the UK? Yeah, I think it's really good how much it's growing. Um, obviously, I think there's still a lot of work to do um, around women's football. Um, but, you know, at the higher level, the sort of the recognition that the ladies are getting, um, you know, some of the professional footballers, well, the women, are, they've still got, you know, part time jobs and to fund themselves. And it's sort of they're still working towards, you know, getting the sort of even anywhere close to the sort of the level that men are playing at the moment, you know, where they can devote their whole career to playing football. Um, and the ladies at the professional level are still, you know, juggling family life, working. Um, so I think it is still a work in progress, but obviously the more it is getting bigger and better, the more fans are going to more games, you know, they get more um, televised games for the ladies, and I think it's really positive. All right, and uh, going back to uh, to your team, uh, Wickham Wanderers, uh, what kind, what do you think about the um, kind of the, the team spirit? What kind of team spirit do you all have? Um, we've got fantastic team spirit. Um, I've been playing for Wickham for this is my second season now. Um, and we've gone through a lot of changes. Different players have come in and left um, this season. We've got a whole load of new players. And I think if you ask any of them, uh, you know, we're in Sunday before a game. We're all in the changing rooms, you know, playing music, dancing around, just having a laugh with each other. Um, win or lose after the game, you know, it's great team spirit. We'll go to the pub together. Um, and it's just, yeah, good fun. We're all good, good mates outside of football. So, yeah. All right, well, thank you, Becca. Let's uh, turn over to you now, Gemma. Now, I know that uh, I'm going to ask you, obviously, the same thing, but I know that, obviously, where you got involved with football was, uh, well, in a, in, a, in a different country where uh, yeah. where uh, I happen to be very well acquainted with it, and we generally call it soccer, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, sorry, I've got a bit of a raspy voice, so. <laughs> no worries. But, um, yeah, so I started playing um, <coughs> soccer as soon as I could walk, really, um, playing loads of different sports, Um Back in the U.S., so soccer was my main one, but I also played basketball, track and field, um, you know, just trying everything out. Um, but, yeah, I prioritized soccer quite early. So when I was 13, started playing for, like, a travel team. So you travel, like, all around the state and to different states as well in the U.S. playing tournaments and stuff. So that was really fun. Um, and then the high school level as well is is quite um, serious in the U.S., so um, – yeah, played for my high school varsity team as well. So that was it's a really good um experience there because we get to we train every day after school, sometimes before school as well. So there's a good vibe with uh like high school teams, it's a really good experience. Like very competitive. And then um if you're serious about um 
sport in America, you can sort of look to go to like college um, to play, um, which I did have a like a scholarship over in America to play um, at a college team as well. Um, but actually, my I ended up here because um, my mom's originally from Reading, so we've, I've got family over here. Um, so I ended up coming over here for about a week and um, had a trial with um, Reading Football Club. Um, and then they had, had sort of a partnership going with um, my university here, um, Box New Uni. So I decided to just take the leap and take the chance and just come to a different country, um, kind of seek adventure a little bit. And um, yeah, so then I ended up here. So I played for Reading um, Development for about a year. Um, and then due to like my uni commitments and I'm sort of prioritizing my career, so um, I decided to, you know, um, take the commitment levels down a little bit. And so now I'm playing for Wickham Wanderers, and it's, I'm having so much fun with it. Um, it was great at Reading, like really, really good level. But it's, um, it's a good level at Wickham as well. It challenges me as well, and, but I have a lot more fun with it because um, it's a little bit more relaxed. So um, I have a lot of fun playing weekly. All right, something I'm curious about the team. Uh, now, I know I have been taught from a very young age that you never ask a lady's age, but I'm just <laughs> looking at you and thinking that uh, it seems like quite a young squad. I mean, is, is that true? I mean, is, is, it, is it a young team, and, and do you think that will uh, kind of help you growing together? Yeah, it's um, we've got a lot of variation. So we've got some girls that are still in school. So we've got, I think our youngest is 16, 16 yeah. yeah. So we've got them, um, which is really good because they're – She go to too. Yeah, she she got a goal as well, but um, it's good for them to play with some of the older girls because um, like there's not too many younger teams around, I think. So um, it's good for them to play with a little, like some older older girls, get them to strengthen up a bit. So yeah, we've got like from 16 to mm, 26, yeah, yeah. mid 20s. So yeah, it's a good um, good range. All right, and. Uh, we are coming up uh, to the end of the show, but just want to get your uh, quick views as well um, about the, uh, the popularity of, uh, of women's football, obviously, but looking at it coming as somebody who comes from the United States. Yeah, yeah, well, um, the um, so soccer in the U.S. is is pretty big, so the national team, and well, they, they've got like a really good league going in the U.S. right now, so that's the women's football is looking really good in America right now. Um, as for the as for England, um, it's it's good, but it's not quite as good. It's getting there though. It's definitely building, like what Becca said. Um, definitely needs some work, but it's it's growing and it's growing fast. Like every year, there's a lot being done. Um, so yeah, it's it's good to see like the um, Chelsea Arsenal, you know, like FA Cup final being played at Wembley. So it's really good to see. Um, it's definitely growing a lot. All right. Well, thank you very much to uh, Gemma and Becca. Hope you've uh, yeah, enjoyed the time you. on the show. Thank you. And uh, thank you as well to uh, Edwin Yarty, uh, the uh, the manager. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Great. And uh, of course, also uh, uh, standing back there, not on the mics, but uh, Captain uh, Charlotte, Kim, and Amy. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, it's been a great show. Really appreciate you all uh, coming out. Hope you uh, enjoyed uh, enjoyed the time you've been at the uh, Wickham Sound Studios. Uh, obviously, uh, um, if you uh, if you tuned in uh, a bit later to uh, the show, uh, we've been talking to uh, Wickham Wanderers Ladies FC, and that was uh, after uh, we had a good chat uh, for the first 20 minutes of the show with 